Okay. Yee. Yeah. Yee, yeah, come on, man. What the fuck? There was an accident, remember? No. How long ago? It just happened. I was out for a minute, I think. On, Nick, if we're gonna go, we gotta go now. Hold on. What do you think you're doing? You hear those people? The cops will be here any minute. Which is why we're gonna be there. You see that fence? There's a house somewhere up ahead. There's cover. That's a long shot. What the hell it is. This is the chance key, the one we all dream about. Dude, I only got two years. Yeah? Well, I don't. to me like we found ourselves a pair of bolt cutters, amigo. Let's get these things off. Keys. Are you a fucking idiot? I don't know. I better know who does. Whoever lives in there. Put this on and talk your way into that house. Are you out of your mind? You have a baby face. You can sell anything. Okay. Here's the deal. You get us cut out of this, we go our separate ways, you won't have to see me again. You can go back to the prison transport, tell them it wasn't even your idea to run. It's gotta be worth something.
All right, what are we looking at here? I got a driver, six convicts, all dead. You're telling me the manifest says eight convicts. That's what it says here. That's it. Two are missing? That's what it looks like. All right, stand by. Lisa, you know this part of the county pretty well. What? I got two convicts in the wind. I need you to go door to door and get word out. Start with a three mile radius. All right. Maybe we'll get lucky. someone in the basement. Can I help you, mister? I sure hope so. I'm gonna need us some help, ma'am. Did something happen? I'd be obliged if you opened the door. I need to come in. Can you tell me what this is all about, then? Do you know there was a hunting accident? Do it. There's a situation. There's an accident. You want us to call someone? You want us to call the sheriff? Can I, can I just... For the Lord's sake, can I get a glass of water, please? I'm hurt. I need to come in. If you open the door, I'll explain everything. strangers now. It's okay, sir. He said he needed help. And so he does. We came here for one thing only, and that's help. Now, we found this useful little farm tool in your workshop out there. But it seems someone put this ridiculous child safety lock on him. You follow? He's talking about the padlock. That's right. These handles are padlocked together. God knows why. That's my coat. And it's your ass if you don't do what I say. Now, it's simple. We need the key to unlock these bolt cutters so we can remove these chains. And you two can go back to your lives. Do you hear me? Have I got your attention, Hayseed? That type of behavior is not called for. You're in somebody's home. We know where the hell we are. Look, you can see the urgency of our situation. I see your snakes. That's all I see. Easy, Ani. Looks like we got the feisty ones. <coughs> now, we don't have the luxury plane around here. So the next one comes straight down to Laura Ingle Wilder's head. Now, I'm going to ask you one last time. Where is the key? It's in the workshop where you devils just came from. In the desk drawer. Desk drawer? If you'd have thought to look there. All right. Looks like we're getting somewhere. How's that knot coming, Boy Scout? Tight as a drum. I told you this isn't necessary. She'll stay put. Better safe than sorry. <laughs> Sounds like a great motto. Is that what you go around telling everybody in prison? Not anymore. You know what? Because I ain't in prison anymore. Let's just get the keys. Yeah. All right. You lead the way. And you, you wait right here. Where's your car? Hey, he asked you where the fuck your car is. Don't have one. Don't lie to me. Last car I owned was 2004. 
We're not the car type. Not the car type. Don't get out much. Yeah, kind of like you, I guess. Looks like no quick getaway here. One problem at a time, huh? There you go. All right, you got what you wanted. How about you let us alone, huh? Let us alone, he says. <laughs> if you had a set of wheels, that'd be a hell of a lot easier wish to grant, man. What do you think about these bracelets? I don't think anything, especially. We're finally separated. It's good enough for me, Nick. I see yourself. But think about this. You may get a pair of his pants over that thing on your ankle, but at some point, if a cop thinks you look like this fugitive they've been tracking, do you really want to risk them pulling up your pant leg? Any ideas on these locks? Well, this drill press. You're gonna need this. You run it. Watch this asshole. Dispatch, you read me? Green unit four, over. I'm gonna check out the Milner's place next. Over. Address on that? That place doesn't have an address. It's a farmhouse beyond Royce Woods on the township map. It's just the Milners. Copy that. Okay, he's still. All right, get up there. We keep her here. Come on, look at him. He's got blood all over him. No. No, it's got to be her. Now, someone's coming to the door in a few seconds. Your job is to get rid of them. I don't care how, but make it believable. Ah, oh, jeez. It's a damn cop. I told you, Nick. Shut up. I don't give a fuck who it is. And don't even think about giving yourself up, not while I'm around. The same rules apply. They don't come in here. They don't see us. They don't know we exist. You get how this works? Yeah, I get it. Yeah, yeah you're better. Any attempt to signal, one wrong move, glance, or toe tap. You know what happens? Bill. Bill what? He dies. Bill dies. I'll break his fucking neck. I'm watching. You need one of these. That's a hard thing to do, you know. Break someone's neck. You have no idea what I've done in prison. This is the Milner's place, right? Yeah, yeah. 
You're probably looking for Bill. Either one, really. Well, Bill's not here right now, but I can help you. It's not a problem. Bill knows I take care of literally anything that comes up. Okay. That's great. Mind if I step inside? Well, that'd be okay, but I have this terrific cold. Touch of the flu, maybe. I'm hardy. <laughs> Your funeral, as they say. Late this afternoon, a pair of convicts escaped from the transport van on Route 3. Not far from here. My heavens. But try not to worry. These two, they're not violent offenders. But given the circumstances, there's no predicting their behavior. Okay. They're trained together. They may be injured, and they're looking for... Shelter. Right, and probably transportation. Well, in that department, we have a tractor. Not their speed. Mm. In all likelihood, if they came here, they just look for a car to steal. And a tool to remove the chains. Your wife is testing me. You better hope this works. You made that perfectly clear. They didn't find a car. They'd probably leave under cover of night on foot. Do you have a working phone? We do, and we have guns. Those probably won't be necessary. As I said, there's no real indication that these two would resort to violence. What you need to do is lock up tight, keep these house lights on overnight, and call 911 if you see anyone around the house. Yes, ma'am. Will do. Let me get this flat for you. It's coming on dark. Is this blood? Probably. Yes. Well, if you know Bill, you know how he is about fresh chicken, right? Picks him up live at the farmer's market. I do it all but the killing that I don't have a stomach for. He rings their necks in the barn and I take care of the rest. Here, take a look. This is probably where the blood came from, right? Uh, okay, ma'am. <laughs> Tell Bill to enjoy that chicken. I will. And keep this door locked. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. You kill defenseless chickens? <laughs> Lucky for you, she wasn't gonna let up on that blood. So now what? You leave us alone and get out of here? We're thinking. You don't speak for me anymore. You always follow his orders? You seem like a man who got dragged into this. Shut up. You seem like someone who might turn themselves in. We should change our clothes. You'll never fit my... Just give me a minute to think. Oh, I'm not sure you've got a minute. Bullshit. It's not. You want to try me? It's bullshit, Gee. No way is there a loaded gun on their mantle. Well, what you're saying makes perfect sense. Assuming we weren't expecting you. Am I right? Maybe it's time to consider the idea. We've been sitting here waiting for you all along. <laughs> <laughs> Go get him, sweetheart. Hey! Hey, oh. hey you bastard! You're mine! Do you like the red pinky? <laughs> Where we 
we fell in the woods. Can you get there? Are you with them? With them? Are you out of your fucking mind? Then they caught you. But but you escaped. You you escaped them? Who, the farmers? I didn't know that was possible. I didn't know that anybody could do that. They, they couldn't hold you? Oh, believe me, it wasn't for lack of trying. Wait, how many other people have they held down here? What's your name? Uh, Nick. Nick! You have the power. You can you can free me. Yeah, power. Yeah, shit. I don't even know if I can get myself out of no, this situation. No, listen. Listen to me. You, you have to take me with you. You have to take me with you. Do they keep the keys down here? <sighs> the husband. He, he carries them on him. That's not good news for you. Don't leave me! Law of the jungle, kiddo. kitchen. I want to get the hell out of this house. There. You'll slow me down. I've already got somebody else to worry about. Whoever it is, if they aren't already dead yet, I guarantee you they wish that they were. I'll send help back when I get out of this. All right. I can't help but wonder how a man on the run from the law is going to send help for me. Sorry, sugar. It's the best I can offer you. You and your friend deserve what's coming to you. You deserve what's coming to you. 
Nobody calls me sugar. somebody's home. This is the Milner's place, right? You're probably looking for bail. Either one, really. Do it already? Oh no. You're not getting away that easy. You might want to think twice about what you're planning to do. Why is that? This was all a misunderstanding. I doubt that. Turn around. If you come any closer, I will decapitate your friend here. He's not my friend. Just some asshole I used to be chained to. Have to kill him for whatever reason, go ahead. But there is no point to it. See, see, you and me, we misjudged the situation. I'll say you did. And if it's all the same to you, we'll just apologize for bothering you and your husband, and we'll be on our way. But it's not all the same to us. Not at all. All right. All right, Sarah, it is. It is Sarah, isn't it? See, I hold all the cards here. Wouldn't it just be like you to believe that? I left your husband in the basement with that girl. You know, the girl you have in the cage. That's right. I know all about her. See, she has your husband's knife, and the one that did this. And I promise it's sharp. And if me and my asshole cellmate aren't downstairs in five minutes, you know what she's gonna do? Slit his throat. Oh. That really hurt. Oh, yeah. So what I suggest you do is you let him go, and I'll call her off. Two of us will be out of your life like we were never even here. Call who off? Don't mess with me. I'm not playing around. This girl. The one you say is holding my husband hostage. You know exactly who the fuck I'm talking about. Yes, I do. But I wonder if you do. Listen, bitch. The only thing you need to concentrate on is she will stick your beloved Bill like an Easter pick. She will, huh? What's her name? What? You set a plan in motion. You made a deal with someone you just met to kill a man. Surely you got this girl's name in the bargain? Four minutes. But you don't know her name. Yeah, I didn't you? get her life story, but I got your husband's, and it's a short one. Oh, my husband, Bill. 
You know his name. Somehow you picked that up. You're down to three minutes. It just doesn't add up to me. You say my husband's in danger, but I honestly just don't believe that. Then I guess you're going to be sorry. One of us will be. Hello, Nick. Nick, did I tell you to drop your weapon? Pick it up. He told me Katrina was going to stab you. He did? Oh, I doubt that, hon. Me too. It wasn't a very plausible scenario. You know, he doesn't even know her name. Oh, that's just rude. Three people with so much in common should be properly introduced, don't you think, hon? No doubt. All right, what's your play here? Believe it or not, we just want to get the hell out of your way. Nonsense! You started this, Nick, and I swear to God, you're going to finish it. Not to worry. Things around here are about to get real interesting. That girl in the cellar, you catch her name yet? Well, you just told him her name, honey, so I'm sure he's got it by now. Hopefully. <coughs> Katrina. Very good. Fast learner, our Nick. And you? Katrina. <laughs> well, we're making progress. Well, you haven't seen her. You're a second story man, eh? Haven't made it to the cellar quite yet. Yeah, and I have no idea what the hell you people are talking about. Nick, why don't you explain to your friend who Katrina is, what she looks like? I don't know. She's a, a young girl. Yes, a young girl. A very pretty young girl. What did you say? Huh? I don't know. Desirable? It was a dark basement. Fuckable, Nick? What? You heard the man. I think she's very fuckable. So do I. See, we're in agreement. We are going to proceed with what around here we lovingly call the tournament. I have a feeling you haven't been around here too long. You two are going to fight. The winner gets Katrina, gets to take her. In more ways than one, if you get my meaning. And what about second place? <laughs> there is no second place, Nick. This is a fight to the death. Whoever wins will be set free. Whoever wins gets that tasty little morsel down in the cage. And the other one, the other one, I'm afraid, has tasted all the pussy he's ever going to taste. Well, I thought the last meal went to the condemned. <laughs> Why are you doing this? You have to ask. My dear boy. I think you already know. We're crazy. <laughs> mm. as you wish. To the victor go the spoil, so may the toughest son of a bitch win. Let's go. Back off. Listen, we can't give them what they want. These people, they're fucking crazy, man. Quit talking. <gasps> Gee, don't be stupid. All I have to do is kick the back of your ankle, and this is over. All I gotta do is get to that left side. They lock people up in the basement. They're not letting either of us go. We can't give them this. They gave us the rules, Nick. I have a life. I have a family. You're fucking crazy, man. It ain't a dance! Shut up! Don't make me kill you. Don't make me kill you. Stop it, Gee, stop it. Enough, Gee, enough, Gee! They're gone. What the hell are these psychos up to? 
You were alone with him. How do I know you didn't strike a deal? You were alone with her. How do I know you didn't? Jesus. We were on a trash detail a few hours ago. How did that turn into this nightmare? Dude, I don't know. Listen. Look, all we have is each other to trust here. That's it. I don't know what they're up to, but the other shoe's gonna drop. So what do we do? Try not to turn on each other. And proceed with caution. Does it make sense to try and make it back to the road through the woods? Maybe. Could be some kind of trap. Yeah, yeah, probably. These people are fucking bad shit. They're not gonna let us alone. What makes two people do this? I mean, they're just a couple. They look like they could be somebody's parents. I don't know about yours. But my parents weren't out of their minds. You didn't see what they're doing to that girl in the cellar. Katrina. Yeah. Yeah, they're treating her like an animal. Some grade A Texas chainsaw shit down there. Oh. We have to rescue her. What? Katrina. <sighs> Nick, if we if we leave her here, that that makes us monsters, man. We didn't do anything to her. But we know. So what? Knowledge is everything. You can't forget. If we leave her here, we'll be haunted. That is not on us. We need to stay out on the open if we're gonna survive. Going back to that chamber of horrors is suicide. Look, no, move your ass. They could be coming back any second. Look, I'd do it myself if I could, but it's gonna take the two of us to get that cage apart. I have the keys. To the cage? Yeah. So you were just gonna leave her here? That is not our fight, man. Give them to me. No, I'll take no, care of it. it's dangerous out. Shit, you think I don't know that? You paint this picture of this woman, this victim. Nick, I have to do something or else. How am I gonna live with myself? All right, okay, I'll do it. I'll go back for her. You don't have to. No, apparently I do. I got a lot better shot at getting this done than you do. You're hobbled. Anyway, you're not gonna keep up with me in the woods. You'll need a head start. You sure? No. Since this prison break went to shit. Saving this girl's life might look good in the courts. You're an optimist after all. Something like that. Can you follow that fence back to where it ends? Right by where we fell? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Good. Okay, now that's halfway between the road and here. That's where we'll meet. I'll bring back the girl. Katrina. Yeah, yeah, Katrina. Okay. Good luck. I don't need it. Buddy, you gotta know I have no intention of going back for that girl. All right. All right, Nick, let's find a place to hide.
We found your tournament very boring. How'd you find me? Does it really matter, Nick? You've been watching us the whole time? Check your keychain. Okay. Oh. Just go ahead and kill me. Oh, we have something much better planned for you, Nick. Killing is easy. Terrorizing, on the other hand, takes a bit more finesse. You really think you're gonna terrorize me more than you already have? Oh, we know we are. We expect you to feel the dread deep down, as deep as it can possibly go. That's your debt to us, Nick. And now it's time to pick up the tab. Oh. 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 I see you guys are really good at making people pay. What has Catherine done to you? Her name is Katrina. You would think after all of this that you would get that right. Get off. Get in the bucket. We feel real disappointed that you were just going to abandon her. You know, civil people make it a habit of introducing themselves. You think I'm the one mistreating her? You, know, you got a lot of nerve saying that. Maybe we should have you say that right to her face. You maniacs put her in a cage, not me. Yeah, it's painfully clear that we're not gonna get a confession out of you. But you are guilty. Oh. Stop. Oh. You are a sadist, you are a rapist, you are scum. And now, finally, you are going to know the exact feeling of helplessness that you have injected into us. <laughs> you have been found guilty of transgressions of flesh and spirit. And the penalty is forfeiture of life. There will be no appeals. <laughs> Justice will be served swiftly. Do you feel a terror yet, boy? <laughs> We've turned you into a homey bomb. Nothing fancy, just good old fashioned high octane gas. <laughs> <laughs> Attached to your body is a six and a half foot length of fuse with the burn rate of about a foot every 30 mm. seconds. Now, once ignited, that gives you, uh, what, honey? 200 seconds? That's about three minutes, give or take, for you to feel the same terror you've made others feel. Mm. Ooh, giddy up! <laughs> That's a big forest out there. <laughs> Oh shit, Nick! Oh shit. <coughs> Listen to me. You're gonna be all right. I'm coming again. I'm coming again. You think, you think they'd burn you up? No, no way, man. That's what they want you to think. They're messing with our minds, oh. man. You know what gasoline smells like. Nick, you're, you're just wet. It's all water. You're all wet. That's it. That's all. I'm 
try to cauterize the wound, to stop the bleeding. You're probably gonna need this back. Getting you back to the main road. I'm going back for the girl. No, no, girl. No, no, girl. No. I don't know if she's in a position to help, but we can't leave Katrina there. We definitely can't leave you here. Let me guess, you're the other one? I'm here to help you. I met your friend. Nick, was it? Yeah. I have to say, he wasn't very much help. We're different people, different philosophies. So he didn't send you back for me? He's not in a position to help. Actually, he needs ours. The shoe's on the other foot. I can't believe this is actually happening. That you don't want to talk about what you've been through. We've both been through it. Yeah, but it's only been one night for me. It was only that one night for me, too. I thought you were in there for a while. What, in this house? No, not, not too long. Well, however long it was, I don't know how you survived it. Don't you even want to know my name? This doesn't have to be an anonymous situation. The crazies told me your name. The crazies? Is that what you call them? I have a different name for them. Anyway, that's certainly not a proper introduction. People have taste you to introduce themselves. So that's what I was talking. I'm Katrina, your damsel in distress. I'm Guy, your knight in prison blues. I could have used a knight thundering in on a horse rescue me once upon a time. A time worse than this? I, I find that hard to believe. Oh, no. It was much, much worse. <laughs> I was minding my own business. The two of them took me right off the street. They raped me. They raped me bad. 
They went on and on. I'm talking for hours. They did everything you could think of to me. Any degradation. Any place you could think of to penetrate with anything. the pain, the fear. It's like a tidal wave, like drowning in pure liquid agony. Of course. That's so terrible. You know how it is. The thing is, I kept thinking it was over. They'd finish, I mean, finish. Leave me alone, and everything will go quiet, and I think I can leave. I'm safe. But then, as soon as I got to the door, they would drag me back. And it would start all over again. I'm so sorry. I can't believe those farmers raped you. No, not them, silly. It was two other people. I always swore if I could find them, I would treat them exactly how they treated me. I would bring them this close to death then let them think that they survived. And as soon as they thought that it was over, that they were safe, drag them back down to hell again and again. The farmers, they were the ones that did that no, to you. No, not them. I told you. How could they? They're my parents. Those are the two people I saw torturing you. Torturing? My own eyes. They never did anything of the sort. I found you in a goddamn cage in a basement. They were trying to help me. Help you do what? Katrina, we've got some news. It's not gonna make you happy, sweetheart. They were denied parole again. Daddy, you said as soon as either of them was out. They're dead, honey. No. That's not possible. There was a fire at the prison. You said we'd get justice when they were released. Three more years, you said at the most. Anything for you, doll. But this was out of our hands. Act of God. Let's go, sweetheart, come on. They're dead. And really, what could be a worse punishment? I can think of a lot worse. Haven't you ever heard of a fate worse than death? You promised I'd see them get what's coming to them. What do you want us to do about it? I'll think of something. It's them. Please do. Are you sure, honey? Be absolutely positive this time. Okay, let's go.
Can he talk? No, not really. We need to get him to a car. That's a shame. I really wanted an apology from both of you. What's that? <sighs> Looks like it's too late for your buddy here, so... I think you should apologize to me. Right here and now. From the both of you. I need you to apologize for what you did to me. You think... I know that you raped me. <laughs> Look, you got the wrong guys. I'm not a sex offender. Look at me. You know what landed me in prison? Counterfeit checks. Fucking rapists. Little stinking pieces of paper. Perfect! I'm a fraud guy. That's some non-confrontational shit. Nick owns a chop shop. We wouldn't just grab women out of alleyways. But you did. I know exactly what you did. Everyone does. Look, I'm gonna say this one more time so that you're here. Nick steals cars for a living. I swindle grocery stores. We would never touch you. Not anymore, you won't. <laughs> say you're sorry for raping me. Sorry. I don't forgive you. Looking at them now, Mom, I'm starting to feel like maybe these aren't the right ones either. It's okay, baby. We'll get the right ones next time. Listen to your father, honey. He won't let you down.
crucified my Lord? Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Or sometimes it causes me to tremble, tremble, tremble. Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Were you there when they nailed him to the cross? Were you there when they nailed him to the cross? Sometimes it causes me to tremble, tremble, tremble. 